Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another game development related Humble Bundle. And this one, actually, we haven't had in a while. It's a book bundle, and even more is kind of unique on this one, is it's books about game design. Although art kind of gets mixed into the mash, as we will see in just a second. But if the topic of game design has been of interest to you, well, there's not a lot of sources for information on that, so this could be an interesting bundle for you. So this is the Unlock the Secrets of Game Design book bundle. It's by Taylor and Francis at Informa Business. Uh, the world of publishing has had so many amalgamations it's hard to keep track of these days, uh, but it is a pretty wide swath of books. Now, if you don't know how this works, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, in this case, ebooks around a common theme, in this case, game design. You decide how your money is allocated between charity, Humble, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. Uh, it's organized into tiers. Uh, they've reorganized their website, so it's harder to go through tier by tier, but we're going to give it a shot. So at the $1 USD tier, you get three ebooks, and I'll, I'll, I buy these bundles to let you know what you're going to get. So we're going to look at the file formats in just a second. And that's kind of a big deal on this particular one because you're going to find they're not as format friendly as many. I think it's because a lot of these books have a lot of pictures in them. So we're PDF heavy in this case. But we've got the basics of game design, storytelling in interactive digital media and video games, and finally on the way to fun and emotion-based approach to successful game design. So you're getting three straight out game design books at a $1 tier. Pretty solid. Then we move up to the next tier, which currently... About 11, 10 to 11 dollars USD right now, and what you're getting in addition. So obviously you get the first tier as well, and then we get um, five new books. We get buttonless, incredible iPhone and iPad games and the stories behind them. The animator's eye, adding life to animation with timing, layout, design, color, and sounds. So like I said, there's some art stuff in here as well, and art theory stuff isn't overwhelmingly common either. So I think some people will welcome those additions. Uh, honoring the code, conversations with great game designers. These are the ones I always like the best. I've always loved things like um, postmortems in Game Developer Magazine. So direct interviews with in the trenches game designers and game developers have always been one of my favorite things. Uh, game design theory a new philosophy for understanding games, and finally, 20 essential games to study. And then you jump up to the final tier, you get uh, a number more books. Let's see, that's uh, hard math for me, so that's nine more books you get in here. And that is for 22.25 Canadian, which is also known as $15 USD. Obviously, you're getting the first two tiers worth of books, as well as learn to play designing tutorials for video games. That's actually a very niche subject, but so if you're looking at how you can actually design an in-game tutorial, that seems to be what that book is about. High score expanded the illustrated history of electronic games. So more about the game history itself, but could be a fun or interesting read. Comedy for animators. Again, we're back in the world of uh, art. Uh, we're actually in the world of art pretty heavily in this last year, to be honest, because we've also got directing for animation, 3D landscape techniques, uh, digital mayhem 3D landscape techniques where inspiration and technique and digital arts meet, and independent animation, developing, producing, and distributing your animated films. Okay, now that is scarily uh, specific, and I also think that that one might have been in a previous bundle, but most of these seem pretty new to me. Um, and you get Game Magic, a game designer's guide to magic systems in theory and practice. That is a really specific book. It's interesting that something like that, how to create magic systems for games, um, literally being, you know, um, you know, how you've got things like, oh, what's the name? Ah, it's eluding me. There, there's a name for the, uh, based on the author for the Dungeons and Dragons magic system where you have spell slots. The something in the name of the original author. Uh, it's, it's, it's not coming to me right now. Uh, but very specific book there. Uh, and then we got Punk Playthings, Prov Provocations for 21st Century Game Makers, Reversing Design Diablo 2. It also could be an interesting read. And then, of course, you get all of the uh, previous tiers as well. So it's definitely a um, really, really specific bundle for ebooks here. But these are topics that aren't particularly covered that often. So it could be a good read. And basically, it boils down to it. If a single book in there appeals to you, the entire $15 bundle is basically paid for. Now, I mentioned earlier off, I buy these bundles to let you know what you're going to get. And today, here's what you're going to get. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, um, a lot of these books are PDF. PDF only. So you got a few of them that are PDF, EPUB, and PR PRC. Wow, I haven't seen that in ages. Uh, formats. Uh, so no Mobi. Instead, we've got PRC. Isn't that the old Palm Pilot format, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, but anyways, almost all of them are in PDF. So one of those things to be uh, aware of there. Uh, if you don't, if you're not reading these like on a computer or a tablet, and you're trying to read these on a Kindle, well, Kindle can open PDFs. It just kind of sucks at it. So uh, one of those things to be aware of. Uh, if PDF format doesn't work for you, this bundle may not be the greatest. Now the nice thing about Humble Bundle, these go into your library. And you can download them as many times as you want from their server. So let's go ahead and download one 
Actually, I think I'm accidentally downloading two. There you see. That's how long it takes to download a 40 meg PDF if you got a good connection. Humble's connections are pretty solid. You can download things as many times as you want. Uh, so again, ebook collection, uh, all of them are available in PDF. A couple of them are also available in EPUB and PRC, which again, I have not seen in a very, very long time. By the way, there is one other Humble bundle going on right now that I didn't cover on this channel, but I was kind of interested in. So I'm going to point it out to you as well. And this is Maps Bonanza. And this is campaign cartographer for making, um, it's designed to make maps for like D&D &D or Pathfinder, those kind of game sessions, tabletop games. But I can actually see how some of these could be useful uh, to the world of game development as well. So if you needed to create this style of map, uh, this one is going on right now. Um, do check into the license, make sure everything's okay. We got a number of uh, additions and so on for doing things like fantasy cities. If you ever read a campaign book for a pen and paper role playing game, you're familiar with the style of maps we've got here. Um, so this isn't particularly aimed at digital game developers, but I can understand how this could be uh, of interest. So the main thing here is the campaign cartographer three uh, software here, uh, which is Windows only, by the way. Uh, but it's the most powerful and versatile map making software for gamers. Again, this is not like tiled. It's not a map maker for games. It is literal maps like like this, what you see here, those kind of things. And we've also got Fractal Terrain 3, powerful and versatile standalone world generator, ren generates random planets, then fine tune an infinite number of details. So it's another one where it's kind of like a 2D sculpting, like a TerraGen, but in 2D for making 2D maps of at the world level. And then of making maps for, you know, of map layouts of cities, map layouts of con of so worlds, locations, I guess is how you could put it there. And then we got a number of plugins here for, you know, adding symbols or you know icons and such to your maps. And we got things for fantasy worlds, fantasy cities, Cthulian maps, science fiction, and so on. Um, and then we weirdly enough have campaign cartographer three, one year license. And lifetime license. Oh, okay, I get it. So if you bought it at a, at a lower tier, you could get just one year of it. Otherwise, you're getting a lifetime of it. So I haven't actually used this one specifically myself. If you guys highly recommend it, maybe I'll pick this bundle up and do a video on it specifically um, if there's any use there. But let me know because I know a handful of you guys have recommended this program in the past. And it is currently available on Humble right now. Uh, so do be sure to check that out. And while you're on Humble, by the way, uh, there is one other game development bundle. I did cover this in the past, but the Learn Unity bundle is going on right now. This is a collection of courses from gamedev.tv. I highly recommend them. And then there's this one as well, which is Corel Painter and Video Studio and so on. And another one that's kind of interesting, but I didn't bother covering it, was this one. And this is basically a collection of 3D models for 3D printing. Uh, they're STL files. Uh, but the problem is all of the licenses are non-commercial. So that's why I didn't really bother with it because it'd be kind of cool. You can actually use STLs uh, in something like Blender or uh, Max or Maya or so on. So you can convert this into something usable, but that non-commercial license kind of ruins it otherwise. But it's something it may be of use to a handful of you. Uh, but I figured I would point that out while I was here. But today, the star of the show obviously is the Unlock Secrets of Game Design Bundle. And... Uh, yeah, very interesting book bundle. I'd be interested in hearing what you think of this particular bundle, maybe some of the other ones that are running. And again, let me know what you think of covering um, campaign cartographer. Do you think there's any value to the world of digital game development for a analog map development software? If so, let me know comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.